Welcome to 13 Hammer Time 62's Lego Set Reviews. And you knew it folks, the Green Ninja has arrived. We finally got hands on this set. Set number 9574, ages 6 to 14, 23 pieces. Lloyd ZX Spinner. Retails for $9.99, unless you buy from Toys R Us as I did, which is $12.99. Even so, I still think this is worthwhile because this set is coming back on the shelves after a long time of selling out. People were crazy about this set and now is your chance to get it again. In fact, right after this review, if you don't have the set already, you should buy it. You should definitely buy it. So we're going to give you a look at the box. As I've mentioned in one of my other reviews, I thought the box was loosely attached a little bit towards the top. But this was officially sealed, so no worries there. We have two instruction booklets. One for building the weapons and spinner and minifigure. And also shows you other Ninjago sets. And then we have this booklet, which teaches you about playing Spinjitzu with the spinner and the cards. I'm sure that many of you will probably buy this because it's a cheaper way of getting Lloyd ZX the Green Ninja. Compared to the other set, which is the ultimate, the Epic Dragon Battle, $120 I believe, but has lots more features to it. Uh, however, if you're just in for the minifigure, get this set. Even the other parts of the set are great too. So we have a little stand to hold our cards. And we actually do use that stand for part of the game. Let's look at the cards. We have the Lloyd ZX character card. Notice on the top, he doesn't have an element because they're all shared. He's balanced. And very few cards in Ninjago are balanced. Roundhouse Kick. This is one of the challenge cards. Set up the above. Each player spins twice. If you knock more cards down, reclaim lost weapon. So what you have to do, you lay one card face down, and then you have to use two of these stands, one with your opponent and one of yours, and set the cards straight up. If you... You know, in, in the two times that you get to spin, if you knock these the face-up cards down, then you get a weapon in case you lost it. Unique power. Now this is something new that I've seen just with this within this set so far. This is require all four elements. Now normally the like the last card we had is only Earth and 200 SP. This one requires all four and at 300 each which we know the Green Ninja has it. Keep face up. Discard if crown is removed. Add 100 SP to all four of your powers. Each of these then becomes 400 SP each. But you have to have a crown if you if somebody takes out your crown you can't use it premonition the second of the three cards in this that have this balance I'm gonna call it balance SP so premonition keep face up discard if crown is removed once again opponent reveals all cards every time you win so not only do you take away their weapon you get to see everything in their hand so you can plan ahead. And that's what premonition basically means. It means you get to see what happens so you can plan in advance. I've actually looked at the definition. Anticipation for a future event, that's what it says. And we have an un we have a perfectly balanced card with a perfectly shiny text opposition. If you have three face-up crown cards, opponent loses all weapons. You have to play all the all three crown cards, then you play this one, and you're 
gold. Like this card, you are gold. And you win the game. I think that one would work excellently. Except I don't understand why you would have three in the first place at the same time. You usually use one for crown um, abilities. We're going to get to that next, in fact. How about that spinner? We have all the elements on here. Ice, fire, lightning, and earth. And matching on top of them, ice, fire, lightning, and earth. They did really great with this detail. I love it. Congrats to LEGO for this detail on the spinner. And on Lloyd ZX himself. Just looking at it, you know this is an awesome ninja. And you can see in the middle there, that's his symbol. We'll get a closer look once we take off his outfit. And just like the other ZX ninjas, you can hold a katana blade or two in the back. So here's a look at his face. It's the same face as the original Lloyd Garmadon and the back face. Here's a better look at the back. We can see that symbol of his. It also appears on the box. So, there we have Lloyd. I feel really good holding him right here and I love the detail. I know that he's actually short, but according to the Cartoon Network series, he becomes older by an accident. He travels forward in time and becomes older, but still has a lot more training to go before he faces his father. So, and actually that, that's a good explanation for why he has taller legs. I just like having the taller legs. As a cat, as a minifigure, it would look kind of weird to have him short and in a ninja outfit. We have each of our weapons here. This is the silver katana blade, very common. We have the golden, some kind of golden weapon. I don't know what this is officially called, um, but we do. You could check out on Lego.com/ninjago and go to the weapons dictionary on there. They have names for these weapons. And a little description. But this one looks great because you can hit people from the back and from the front. And we have our standard brown staff. Just like Sensei Wu's. I've actually gotten two or three of them when getting the spinner sets. We're just going to try for a little bit to see if we can um, knock down